Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and if you're new, welcome to the channel. So today we're back at Liverpool, in Allerton Cemetery, where we're visiting the grave of Ken Dodd. So Kenneth Arthur Dodd OBE was born on the 8th November 1927 in his lifelong home, a former farmhouse in Notty Ash, Liverpool. He was a well-known comedian, singer and occasional actor. Best known for his live stand-up performances. Ken's career started in the mid-1950s as an entertainer. His performances would run for several hours, sometimes going into past midnight. He gained his big break at the age of 26 in September 1954 with his professional debut as Professor Yaffle Chucklebutter, operatic tenor and sausage knotter at the Nottingham Empire. He continued to tour up and down the UK, appearing at Blackpool in 1955. Ken Dodd's first top billing was at Blackpool in 1958. His verbal and physical comedy was supplemented by his well-known prop, a red, white and blue tickling stick. And often started with the greeting of, how tickled am I? During his comedy performances, he would use songs both serious and humorous, and with his original speciality, ventriloquism. During the 1960s, he had several hit singles, mainly as a ballad singer performed on radio and television and popularised the mythical characters of the Diddy Men. He earned the place in the Guinness Book of Records for the world's longest ever joke telling session, 1500 jokes in three and a half hours. As I said earlier, he was an occasional actor. He appeared in several dramatic roles on stage in 1971 in William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, on television in the cameo role on Doctor Who, Delta and the Bannerman as Yorick in 1987. In Kenneth Branagh's film version of Hamlet in 1996. And as Mr. Mouse in the 1999 television movie of Alice in Wonderland. Ken Dodd appeared in many royal variety performances. His last was in 2006 in front of Prince Charles and his wife Camilla at the London Coliseum. He toured frequently throughout his professional career, well into his 80s. His final performance was on the 28th of December 2017 at Echo Arena in Liverpool. His stage career lasted for over 60 years. He said the secret of his success was simply, I love what I do. He was appointed Officer of the British Empire in 1982 knighted in 2017 for his services to entertainment and charity. So Ken Dodd, OBE, died aged 90 on 11th of March 2018 at his home in Notty Ash, the same home he was born in. Right, so I'll take you to his grave now, not far from it. So that says, in loving memory of my dear wife, Sarah Dodd. Died May 1968, age 71. Also, Arthur Dodd. So that's Ken Dodd's mum and dad. And then, so Ken Dodd will be happiness and laughter, one life lived, so many lives touched. Died alone for March 2018, age 90. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.